From the Colorado Integrated Food Safety Center of Excellence, in the lab, understanding basic techniques performed at a public health laboratory. How are stool specimens plated during a foodborne disease outbreak investigation? The laboratorian first labels each agar medium plate and broth tube with an assigned specimen number in permanent marker. Now the plates are inoculated with the stool sample. The stool-covered sample swab is run in a zigzag motion over the top quarter of each agar medium plate. The swab is rotated so the entire surface touches the plate media. After inoculating the plates, the sample swab is broken off into a tube of enrichment media and closed tightly. The tube is shaken so the swab is completely immersed in the enrichment media broth. Next, the laboratory must streak the plates to thin out the applied bacteria, allowing individual colonies to be isolated after incubation occurs. First, a sterile applicator stick is run in a zigzag motion over the initial inoculation streak. Then, the plate is rotated and the bacteria is streaked from the first quadrant into the second. The plate is rotated again and is streaked from the second quadrant to the third. With one last rotation, the plate is streaked from the third quadrant into the fourth and the streaking process is complete. Lastly, the enrichment broth and agar plates are incubated for 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. After incubation, the plates will be observed for colony growth. If growth is lacking, this process will be repeated using enriched bacteria from the inoculated media broth.